Hey guys, this recipe is for my homemade liver pate. The recipe is from the 20 a day ketogenic girl challenge for accelerated weight loss and fat loss. I hope you enjoy it. Hey guys, happy Saturday. I am just making a little bit more pate today, liver pate. I'm not a huge fan of eating it raw, but liver is so nutrient dense. It has almost every micronutrient, vitamin, and nutrient that the body needs. It even has folate in it, uh, which you can't get from plant foods and vitamin C. It is amazing, and I love making my own homemade liver pate. If you'd like to see the recipe, check out my IGTV. I saved the recipe video there, and I'm gonna use this amazing layer of beef fat, which was um, yesterday I was making uh, the beef short ribs in the slow cooker and refrigerated that beef bone broth. And I'm gonna use that instead of butter because dairy can be inflammatory for some people. So I'm gonna make that here with this and hope you guys are having an awesome start to your weekend. All right, so I'm gonna scoop some of this gorgeous beef tallow here and use it as the base instead of butter. I'm gonna coat the pan and then add the chicken livers to it. And it is all like jello. All that collagen and gelatin in there from boiling the bones. And I still have this going from yesterday with those leftover uh, short rib bones. So add the livers in here water and some of that amazing beef gelatin in here so i've seasoned that up and now i'm going to add in some of that amazing beef gelatin which is full of collagen which is so great for healing and repairing the gut if you have autoimmune issues and getting really strong hair and skin. This is that collagen gold, yum. So I'm gonna pour in about a half a cup of water and then bring that all to a simmer. here and we're gonna transfer it to some ramekins if you want to get really saucy you can add some black truffle sea salt in there and other flavors I like to add black truffle to make a special gift version of mine and just add a bit of that amazing truffle salt in there but you can spice it up with all kinds of different Things, different spices and ingredients and flavoring. All right, so now I've transferred the pate to these adorable little ramekins and little jars that have seals on them. And this is the black truffle pate. So, so easy to make if you want to watch it again. The recipe is in my IGTV stories. Now, you might be asking yourself, why would I eat this? And you might be asking yourself, why would I eat this? Like, why would I eat liver? Well, first of all, it's freaking delicious. But second of all, one of the reasons I have this and have had it on my 20 day challenge program for the past several years is that pate and liver is so nutrient dense that you're giving your body all the essentials that it needs. It's basically like a multivitamin and when your body is really satisfied, which is what the goal is on keto, you don't crave things. It's easier to get off of sugar, to get off of processed foods, to make that transition and to just feel full and satisfied because you have your basic essential nutrient needs met and that includes folate and vitamin C and all the essential micronutrients that we need, the liver is just packed with them. So I don't know about you, I don't really love to eat 
raw liver, but I love me some pate, and this is a really easy recipe. You can check it out in my The recipe is in the Ketogenic Girl Challenge, 20 Day Challenge. If you have the meal plans, you can check it out. It's on day 26. And the video I had made yesterday is saved in my IGTV story. So hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know if you liked it and tag me in a photo if you make it. I would love to see that. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you guys get to try out this pate recipe. It is it's super yummy, super nutritious, and very easy to make and it keeps in the fridge. One of the best ways to enjoy it is with some sliced cucumbers, sort of cucumber crackers, or if you're like me, just eat it with a fork. One of the best ways to enjoy it is with sliced cucumber, sort of cucumber crackers, or you can also do some pickled radishes like in this photo or use any other veggie to go with it that you like or if you're like me just eat it with a fork